Okay, you've always heard that buying a home will most likely be the biggest purchase you ever make in your lifetime. Yes, it's exciting, but it is very challenging at the same time. And there are lots and lots of questions and scenarios that take place through those years. Now, Shay DuPont from the law firm of Morris DuPont is here now to answer some of the questions that you might have about this huge purchase and Absolutely. say things go south, say you well, let's go right to a question, actually. Let's go to Lloyd in Tampa, who has this question for you, okay. Shay. If I defaulted on a loan modification in 2010, can I try to get another one now? So we're talking four years later. We know a lot of people uh, a number of years back tried for loan modifications. The lucky ones got them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't get them. Say this person got one, he yeah. defaulted. Right. Now, I would think conventional wisdom would say, no, you're not going to get another chance. Well, I'm what, glad I'm here. What say you? Because, um, Lloyd, thank you for the question. We mm. always appreciate getting the, the questions from the audience. It's better that way to understand what their issues are. So he got a loan modification and he defaulted on it in 2010. So that means the most loan modification program started in March of 2009. So he probably got a very early loan okay. modification that might not have included a principal reduction. Mm. So he might still have negative equity on the property or they might have given him a loan modification that didn't include what we have now, which is as low as 2%. Wow. So it might not have made financial sense to continue to make those mortgage payments even when the loan was modified. But I have good news for Lloyd. Loan modification programs are much better now than they were back in 2009, <clears throat> 2010. And yes, he can possibly qualify for another loan modification. The rule under HAMP, the Home Affordable Modification Program, which is the largest loan modification program out there sponsored by the Department of Treasury, is this. You can get two loan modifications mm -hmm. within a five-year period as long as they're at least 12 months apart and you're applying for the new loan modification based on a new hardship. Not if you were unemployed in 2009, you can't use that same unemployment for a loan modification now. But if your spouse is now you know, underemployed, you can use that as a new hardship. So if Lloyd has new circumstances that are causing him to be facing a hardship today, he can definitely apply for a new loan modification and see whether or not he can qualify for some of the new great programs that are out there that very well could include a principal reduction now, which probably wasn't possible in the 2009 one. Well, let's talk about some of those great options. Sure. What else is out there? I mean, this principal reduction is, is huge. It's huge. Well, the other thing is, is the 2% interest rate. Right. You can't get 2% no. in a refinance, but you can get a 2% interest rate as part of a tiered loan modification under HAMP. That is, it comes out at 2% for the first five years, 3% in year six, and it locks in somewhere around 4% in year seven. So it gives you that first five years is as low as they possibly can go. Okay. And we know with a loan modification, we've talked about before, that the whole goal is to get your monthly housing expense down to 31% of gross monthly income. Perfect, all right, we love getting the questions too, and Shay's yeah, good at answering them. <laughs> if you have a question, email us at daytime at WFLA.com or post a message mm -hmm. on our Facebook page, Daytime TV Show. And Shay, of course, always a pleasure to see you. Learn more about this and other home buying issues, you can visit Shay's website at homemortgagelaw.com, and you can contact the law firm of Morris DuPont and schedule a free consultation. The number is 800 974 2712. And we will see you next time, Shay. Always a pleasure. It right. certainly is. Be right back.